guys. So in this video, we try to prove the second baker, oh, the second, second campaign, uh, baker campaign hostel formula. Okay, so, so let me write down our goal. So our goal today is trying to prove this. Uh, so basically, you can view A, B, S, M by N matrices. Okay, now this is our previous, our, our previous uh, uh, results. Or basically, you can view as A, B, S the operator. Uh, although usually there's uh, many definition in uh, quantum mechanics or other uh, type operators, but basically you can view this as some uh, algebra, algebra. Okay, so. Uh, Okay, so what is the second Baker uh, formula? Okay, so I uh, want to prove this. Uh, and there is a higher order term. Okay, so this is our goal. So our goal is try to uh, tell you how to uh, prove this and uh, tell you how to... Uh, uh, if you want to compute uh, the higher order term, then uh, how can you compute the higher order? Higher order AB term. Okay, so the proof. Uh, the proof is very complicated. Okay, so but uh, but we can but so we start with a lemma. So lemma say that uh, if you have a function of ax, you do a derivative. Basically, you can view a as a matrix. You have this one minus a dA dx exponential y a okay so you have uh, y a and uh, the a derivative and the uh, exponential one minus y a okay so okay so this lemma is uh, very important uh, basically is the all the key points okay so uh so, so prove them uh, we just direct computation we first direct compute this the exponential a and then this is dx one plus a a squared divided by two a to the cube. Okay, and if you do carefully, you get a pi, and uh, this is a a pi a pi a divided by two. This is one over q three a cube a pi a a pi a uh, a pi a a. Keep going. By the way, this is two factorial. Okay. So this is the left hand side. So right hand side uh, is this. So we calculate this. Uh, this one. And then this is a pi y. Okay. So the key point is that we need to compute it. And uh, you can write down, oh by the way, yeah, if you write down very carefully, then you can get uh, this one. Uh, okay, uh, yeah, so this is the, the uh, this term, this term. And for this turn, uh, for this turn, you can do the. Uh, for this turn, you can see uh, basically this is uh, this term is same as this turn, this turn. Okay, it's very uh, clearly if you 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 do an expansion, then you will get a similar turn. So you will get the same turn. You will get the same turn. So this is m prime prime. You have get the same turn, but zero to one dy, and uh, one minus one uh, n, and the uh, y m. Okay, and then this is the beta function, beta n m. So remember, which we have is the common common result of this beta n. Uh, let me see. Sorry, it should be uh. This is m plus one, m plus one. So this is m plus one, m plus one, m plus one, m plus two. Okay. So this is the beta function, and then if you use the beta function integration, 
then you will see uh, this turn cancel this turn so finally you get the same turn finally you get the same turn well, finally uh, you cancel these two and the least to put in here so you get a set you get a set okay so this is the proof for the proof for the uh, this is proof for this formula okay so let us start to uh, prove the formula the pch formula okay okay so we start defining this xa times xb to be uh Define the exponential tree of x, and then if you do an expansion, that there will be higher order terms. So uh, I, I explain the x x g one x squared g two x cubed g three cubed okay, cube. Okay, this is just definition, right? I mean, right tree of x as as this, and uh, I know that there is no constant term because I can let x to be zero. Okay, and uh, I, then I compute this x b x a d over dx x a x b so this is the term i i i like it okay so from this one we have exponential this is just definition okay uh, okay okay so how about we calculate the left hand side okay so left hand side uh we can we can compute we can brute force compute so this is uh, uh this is b plus exponential uh minus xb a xb okay so this is just direct computation if you do respect to a uh, do a di uh, differentiation with respect to a And uh, then you will get a. Uh, you will get a. Uh, you will get uh, at respect to x. Then you will get a. And these two turn cancel. If you get respect to uh, respect to p, then you will get this. You will get this. Okay. So this is the result. And uh, so and the, the right hand side is uh, much more complicated because because this is not g of x, not just some matrix times times uh x so this is much uh, complicated and uh, so this uh, can be directly computed by g prime plus half g prime g plus one over phase factorial g prime g g okay keep going Okay, and uh, for our definition, I write g x uh, x g one x squared g two. So remember, g is x g one plus x squared g two. So g prime g one plus two x g two. So what we have is the g one plus two x g two plus x squared three g three minus a half g one g two. Keep going. Okay. So uh, now we already uh, reached the final answer because because uh, okay. So let me. I mean, I mean, it looks like we didn't we didn't use the we didn't use the lemma. Okay, but actually, uh, uh, actually, we will see the how lemma use in the in the next. So, uh, from here, uh, what we have is the what we compute this g g g prime g. What we get is the g one plus two x g two. So keep going. This is x g one plus x squared g two. Okay, so this is close to uh, minus x squared g one g two plus the next term. Next term. Okay, so we can compare this and this. Okay, so this this is just B plus. Uh, you uh, use the first uh, Campbell Baker formula. So what we have is 
uh, plus a plus x a b plus x squared divided by 2 b b a okay so we have this term right we have this term and uh, in uh, in the list and then we have this term this term okay okay so compare this compare this so the first is g1 this is g1 so g1 is just a plus b and the next is g2 so g2 x2 uh, two. so 2g2 two 2g2 two, two two, uh, equals to a b so g2 is a b half okay and uh, can do a g3 g3 uh, is much difficult but uh, uh, G3 is much difficult because you need to minus G1, G2 half and then uh, get a G3. So what we have is this. I guess there is no easy way to remember this formula. <laughs> okay, so this is G3. Okay, so finally uh, what we have is exponential. Okay, so nice. So the, then we uh, so remember this is originally we have this formula. Okay, so we can let x equals to one. Then we have exponential a times this exponential b. This is exponential a plus b plus a half a b, and keep going. Okay, so very nice that we prove we prove this formula. <sighs> It's very strange that uh, we didn't we didn't use the lemma proof. Why 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 the notes say that we should use it? Very strange. Okay. Uh, okay. Fortunately, so basically you prove the first baker, the second baker. All we need is the differentiation. Okay. So let me summarize. Summarize. Okay. So summarize. So B C H formula. Formula one is that uh, exponential b a exponential minus b a plus b a plus a half b b a. Okay, so and this is a second formula exponential a plus b is exponential a times exponential b. Oh, sorry, why is what I'm writing about? Exponential a times exponential b is equal to exponential a plus b plus a half turn a plus b plus the second the higher order turn. So higher order turn each turn contains at least a square b plus o uh, b square a and keep doing. Okay, so uh, in this video we prove these two formula, two formula. Okay, and. Uh, I will see you guys in the next video.